Well, Mr. Cool, <laughs> or whatever your name is, <laughs> where did you come from? <laughs> uh, we're already the best picture. It goes fast, it doesn't goes it? It goes fast. And you know, what I love is, you know, correct me if I'm wrong with this, but a few years ago, the Academy said, okay, we're not going to limit it to five pictures. Right. We're going to have it anywhere from a minimum of five to a maximum of ten. Yep. And the number has varied. I think this year we have nine. I think they've only done ten once it was since like the they've first allowed year. it. Yeah. And, and I, then it's kind of yeah. ebbed back. But this year it was not. It really amazes me that they come up with these figures. Why know. not ten? I Why mean, not if they could do nine, though. Why not just set a rule? Right. Like ten Let's do ten. Yeah. If we can't find ten, we should stop making movies. That's right. Right? I mean, you know, I mean seriously. Because, you know, again... This list isn't so stellar that we couldn't throw one more on there. That could fit easily. But it's, it's you know, here we go. We've got Moonlight. Didn't like it. <laughs> Manchester by the Sea. Didn't like it. <laughs> Lion. Liked it. La La Land. Liked it. Hidden Figures liked it a lot. Hell or High Water really liked it. Hacksaw Ridge, best movie of the year in my opinion. <laughs> Fences liked it. Arrival didn't understand it. <laughs> so there's my there's my take of it. You know, which doesn't sound impressive, right? Doesn't sound impressive. Yeah. You know, I I think I looked. I think there's maybe I I think Hidden Figures, Hell or High Water, and Hacksaw Ridge were on my top ten list. These other Doobies weren't. <laughs> I have a uh, like a philosophical question for you, Jackie. Oh, let's get philosophical. So I went to see Manchester by the Sea. Manchester is actually a city in Massachusetts, not far from where I grew up. Okay, so I saw this movie in Alabama. Well, you were predisposed to like the movie then. Probably, absolutely. I, I would have to say the accents are authentic. You know, it's up in my neck of the woods. So yeah, going into it, I already have like a little fondness oh, for it. It's a Boston accent. Absolutely. You heard Cooper when I yeah. said instead of Cooper. Earlier, really, it's Cooper. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> but I, I saw that. My roots, <laughs> that movie came out around Christmas time, and I saw it with my wife. Oh yeah, it's a real Christmas cheer. <laughs> You're leading it in perfectly <laughs> without even knowing. So we saw the movie in Alabama, and as soon as the movie finished, Happy Holidays, honey. A lady stood up and she said, "I don't know how you do things in Massachusetts, but in Alabama, this ain't a Christmas movie." And I thought Somebody actually stood up screamed and it in the that? screamed it in front of the whole theater. That and was I was the still you? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took it personally and the movie was still resonating and with me. Did you get me. up and scream back at her? That's exactly the way we do it. Uh, in the parking lot. Oh. <laughs> As you ran over. <laughs> <laughs> but my question is do you literally go to a movie that you have no idea what it's about? Because if you had even looked at one thing about that movie, you would have known. Yes, it came out at Christmas, but it's not a Christmas movie. And I say shame on anybody who does that. Do let you do that? You, let me tell you. Yes, he's done it. I can tell. Here comes my wife, 92-year-old mother, my mother-in-law, 92 years old. I mean, we... We just rack our brains to think of what, what movie can we go. can take her to because she gets offended uh -oh. at this, she gets offended at that. She calls and she says, Jackie, a friend of mine and I went to the movies the other day. And I thought, oh my gosh, what did they go see? I, mean, I wasn't thinking anything bad. I thought, oh, was there anything really bad in Hidden Figures or, you know, this sort of stuff. I think, you know, because she, you would think G, PG, right. pushing it to get to a PG 13. Right. We saw Manchester by the Sea. Oh, goodness gracious. She wasn't in Alabama. Was I said, she? no, she was, she was in Florida. <laughs> and I said, Mary Lou, it's R rated. Yeah. She said, I didn't know that. Oh. And it's not a happy I story. Mean, but again, she won't go see hardly anything that's wow. anything but G. And she wanders into Manchester by the wow. Sea. She never made a comment. Wow. Never said. Mm, that was terrible or anything else she just said it was different yes sat down. <laughs> <laughs> and for those you know um a young man his brother dies and he's through a will inherits his nephew but he's reluctant to take him on board and you wonder why and then they piece together what went through his life why he wouldn't willingly take his nephew on his younger children end up dying in a fire that he caused. He, Spoiler alert! He, well, they should have seen it by now already, right? <laughs> and, um, and and it's not a happy ending. It's not a happy ending. So that's not for everybody, but I love it when it's not a Hollywood ending that they wrap up in a nice bow. But again, you don't get that reveal until... The path half, takes a while, yeah. At least halfway, movie. probably, yeah. yeah. Because you're thinking, why is jerk. this guy so adverse yeah. to taking on 
his 16-year-old nephew, who he obviously in flashback scenes Likes had him. a great relationship right. with. Yeah. And then you and you get into the the backstory. But you know, it I don't know. I, I'm like that woman screaming at this Christmas movie. I'm thinking, what is the point of this movie? Yeah. Because, again, a lot of movies, I can say I didn't understand or whatever. This one, again, you it was tied up at the like end it. with that bow. And, you know, we took care of this. We took care of that. Oh, it's just so neat. And little. I didn't see the bow. But let's talk about some more on yeah, that. We better. You know what I like, uh, Jackie? We talked about how many of these are true stories. Hidden yes. figures, true. Lion was true. Hacksaw Ridge was true. Um, and I know there were... Oh, Jackie, obviously, even though that's not up for Best Picture. But there were so and, many ones that and were... And you would think with Natalie Portman... Yeah. You know, again, but it got no play. It, it you know, To my knowledge, never played around here. Maybe it did for a short period of time. But I didn't think it did. A good movie. It was. It really was. It, you know, it, for those people, I know you're not you, but <laughs> for me who lived through the Kennedy years, this was, you know, a, even better. A tremendously impactful moment on my life when Kennedy was assassinated. And I saw the cortege, you know, procession. And you learn in the movie, you know, she says, I want to be just like Lincoln's, Lincoln, Lincoln's yeah. funeral. And she said, Get the horse. Right, you right, the horse thing? on carriage, and yes. No, the horse, the right, right on oh, his yes, horse. Oh, yes, yes. And they say, uh, We don't do Jack that anymore. Kennedy didn't ride a horse. <laughs> and she said, I don't care. And everybody yeah. in my day said, Look at the horse. Wow. The riderless horse. Wow. We didn't think. It's in the 1860s. Right. Because <laughs> she talked about the other two presidents had been murdered and nobody remembered them. Yes. And that was a brilliant that was scene a great in scene. the movie. Yes. You know, she's in the ambulance or whatever right. with the, the body. In the, and she asked the and driver. And she says to yes. the driver, you know, do you remember Tyler and somebody else? Yeah. Like, and, and he says, no, ma'am. She said, do you remember Lincoln? He said, oh, yes, yes. ma'am. And it, the other two she had mentioned had been assassinated. Right. But nobody mentioned them. Right. And, but Lincoln, because of the impact around it and the way it was done she wanted her her husband to be, be remembered the same way one thing that was neat for me is i took my students on a field trip to see hidden figures oh really yeah so and every single student loved the film so that was kind of cool that even young people boys and girls enjoyed i don't know that how film. anybody could not like i would movie. agree it's it's uh it, even that it's true makes it so amazing at the end when they show you the people the and impact makes, that they had and it makes brilliance be cool no doubt yeah you know especially kids who don't think it's cool to be yes, smart in school yes. that let them know that that, that, yeah. that says it is good to be smart you know you can you know you can you can save the world if, if with intelligence which one gave you the most joy because hidden figures for me was about as enjoyable as any of them it on would the be, list as, as far as enjoyment probably hidden figures would be right there that would probably be the one that gave because i came out of it with such an optimistic feel yeah. about life and people and whatever i got the same similar type of elation from hacksaw ridge that one person that there can be a person who is that good and that sacrificial uh in caring for his fellow man that and to see his troop Love him by the end and embrace him and just say what a man you were. Well, that was really satisfying, you know, too. I, I know people who came out of a rifle. Man, <laughs> man, you know, that was just brilliant. That was so good. <laughs> I'm over in the corner trying to listen saying, what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, Fences was a downer to me. Yeah, like I, I went in with such low expectations, but I don't see it as best picture. There were two good performances in there, but that There's movie two itself. Two Right. Yeah. And also... Um, Lion did not involve me emotionally. It did not. Mm -mm. Nope. The I little really boy did. To... The little boy. Well, he was in at least half of the movie. The first half of the movie, but the the build up to the reunion didn't do it. Nope. Yeah. How about you? Um, not as much as it did for my wife. I mean, I almost ran out of tissues, and I really, thought, yeah, I, you know, I almost felt bad, like I was a little heartless. Well, I've heard serious. people say that about Manchester by the Sea. That you know, I was just a dissolved right, mess by yeah. the time I've never seen it. Had a movie to you yeah. know, touch. Heart. We have to embrace our softer side, Jackie. This year didn't do it. My softer side was screaming, show me something. <laughs> I blame Hollywood. I, I, I don't know. I don't think I'm calloused you know, and yeah. just can't be touched. But no, that did not do it. And again, Moonlight did not do it for me. For you. 
Yep. Again, How about um, on Lion? You do know what happened to his older brother. I read about yeah, it. Yeah, he actually, within minutes of getting separated from his younger brother, got hit by a train yes, and yes, actually said, and passed away. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Sorry, but folks, you got to see these movies. <laughs> Maybe what we're saying is getting them to go. Let's see. <laughs> Invitation to Kevin <laughs> for 2018. <laughs> but these have been out so long. Bring, bring adhesive tape or duct tape. So, hey, how can we talk about a movie without talking about the movie? All right, I'm going to tell you. I think La La Land is a lock. It is. La La Land's a lock. And it's not the best picture. And I do wish it would be Hacksaw Ridge. I really do. I'll turn it over to you. All right. La La Land will win. I did love Hacksaw Ridge. I'm still torn. I thought I don't even have my choice made up coming into this show. I still like Manchester by the Sea, Lion, Arrival, and Come Moonlight. On. I like them all. Hit it. Am I going to be biased towards Massachusetts with Manchester by the Sea? No, I'm not. I'm going to go with Moonlight. Moonlight okay. should win, but won't. La La. La La will. You know, they're voting for themselves, guys. Yes, they are. It's a celebration of all things Hollywood. You know, like we said at the start, this was not the best year for the movies. Uh, I wonder what the show's going to be like with Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Uh, you know, It'll be real interesting. And I wonder if it's going to be really political. Right. Because that's right, the way we're just, going. Yeah, that looks what we're, like what we're headed to. Wonder if there are going to be any surprises. I hope so. I love it when there's surprises. Me too. Jimmy Kimmel will keep it fresh. Yes. Yes. No doubt. But Kevin, I can't thank you enough. Oh, thank you for having oh, me. That's I, fun. I hope I didn't just get kicked out for next year. No. 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 Thanks for having me, Jackie. Never. <laughs> 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 Sorry if I spoiled it for you folks. But I do want to thank all of you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed our predictions. I hope you wrote them down so you can see who... What, what, did, what did we differ on, Kevin? Not too much. No, we, we both did La La Land. We both said... Uh, did you like Deadpool? I did like Deadpool. Okay, good. Yeah. I just wanted to throw that and out there before he, we wrap Ryan it up. Ryan Reynolds might be there. But anyway, you've seen our choices. Uh, the show is this coming Sunday night on ABC and... I'll be back with the Jackie K. Cooper Show next week talking about the movies that we missed this weekend and didn't get to talk about. But thank you, thank you, thank you again, and thank all of you for tuning in.